A loser this week, Pandora. Q4 revenue missed expectations and the stock has been cut in half this year. Analysts say the culprit is a pullback in mobile advertising, but the likely culprit is a pullback in advertising on Pandora. Two thirds of global mobile revenue is now going to either Facebook or Google. So Facebook, a big winner on several dimensions. Revenue soared past 12 billion in 2014 and profits doubled to almost 3 billion. However, there's a huge discrepancy in user monetization between North America versus the rest of the world. Almost six in seven new users in 2014 came from outside North America or Europe. So one of two things is happening here. There's either huge upside for monetization potential outside of Western Europe and the US, or Facebook in Asia is not doing its job. So a loser, Michael Kors, has the most successful fashion company of the last year, grown too fast. Over 200 stores opened in the last 12 months versus e-commerce where they just recently took it in-house from Neiman and Marcus. They entered the current quarter with 65% increase in inventory and also a decline in Google search traffic. The stock is off 25% in the last 12 months. So a loser this week, the media, who's obsessed with the media, reporting Brian Williams stepping down or taking a leave of absence as if it's a big story. Nobody cares. The bigger story that the media doesn't seem to be focused on is the fact that the president, kicking off his seventh year, decided to do an interview with Vox and BuzzFeed, not NBC. Personally, I get a great deal of value from the nightly news as I've been able to self-diagnose my restless leg syndrome and figure out that Abilify not only helps with my schizophrenia, but eases my chapped lips. We'll see you next week. Thank you.